Hey guys, welcome back to Yoshikoji channel and today in this video, I am going to see how much about Japan do I actually know. So as you guys might have guessed, I'm very much Japanese and I was born and raised here in Japan for 19 years before I went to abroad for two years. Then I came back, like, I came back last year, I guess. But it's commonly known that Japanese people don't really study or have a lot of knowledge about other cultures or other histories. Although we learn a little bit in the middle school, but it's not that much. And we don't really study abroad or go on a trip. Even if you go like on a trip to the different countries, the farthest you might go is somewhere like a Korea or Hong Kong, Hawaii, and things like that. So I think it's gonna be interesting to see how much about Japan do I actually know. So I found this website online and it says quiz how well do you really know Japan? Uh, it's a very interesting title isn't it? <laughs> do you know all about Japan's temples, castles, natural wonders and wildlife? Maybe you're an expert on Japanese geography, history and culture. Find out if you're an expert with our fun Finnish quiz. I don't know what the f <laughs> I don't know what Finnish means. Find out if you're an expert with our fun Finnish quiz. Okay, it's it's kind of interesting. I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't call myself a Japanese expert, but uh, I mean I've been I've been here for 19 years, almost 20 years of my life, so I can pretty much say I'm an expert, aren't I? But anyway, let's let's go on to the quiz. Um, Japan is made up of islands. How many islands does Japan have in total? <laughs> well, okay, okay. Yeah, it's very true that Japan consists of many islands. So okay, it's definitely not six. There are many more than six. I, honestly, I have no idea. It just has to go with my with my guess. I'm just gonna go with 380. Oh, he actually has 6,852. That's crazy. That's insane. What the heck? 6,852. Wow. Yeah, Japan really does consist of many, many islands. All right, let's go on to the next question, which is what is a traditional Japanese in code? So in means building, I guess. If that's the case, it has to be ryokan. Onsen is a hot spring, which is where you take a bath and chill. And capsule, I think it refers to the capsule hotel, which is a really small hotel. You can just like run and sleep and go <laughs> with a reasonable amount of price. And hanok, it's, uh, it's not from Japan. All right, ryokan. Correct. All right, next one, question number three. We all know Tokyo is the largest city in terms of population, but where is the second biggest? It's super easy. This is where I live currently, Osaka. Kyoto is one of the most traditional city of Japan and Yokohama is pretty lively. They have a big Chinatown. I love to go there and eat. And Nagoya is, yeah, some people in Nagoya say Nagoya is the second biggest, but no doubt it's Osaka. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Wait, what do you mean? Oh, okay. Alright, it's based on population, isn't it? I think economically or whatever, what kind of ranking it is, but Osaka is said to be second biggest, like second capital of Japan, but I think probably Yokohama has quite a bit of population, but <laughs> it's uh, it's interesting to know. I just felt... <laughs> Uh, number four, Japan's total population is approximately 127 million. But which European country is similar in size according to landmass? I heard it when I was in Europe, especially when I was living in Germany, that Germany is as big as Japan. I heard the United Kingdom is just as big as Hokkaido. I think it's Germany. Uh, let me see. Yes, Deutschland. Uh, number five. Before Tokyo, Japan had several other capital cities, which is the most recent previous capital. So it means, what was the capital before Tokyo? I think it was Kyoto. It was during the... 
no, I don't know so much about history, but I know I know pre I'm not <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Kyoto. Yes, it's Kyoto. Oh, number six. How tall is the iconic Mount Fuji? It's uh, pretty easy actually. I think a lot of Japanese people know it. And in Japan, we use meters, so feet is uh, deleted from. Uh, those choices and it's number one 3,776 meters correct so number seven few original castles remained from the Edo period of 1603 to 1868 how many still exist today so the original castles I know a lot of castles are rebuilt for the tourist purposes and then historical study purposes but original castles I think I just have to go with a guess. I think it's around 12. Yes, correct. <laughs> All right, number eight. Kyoto is the famous for its stunning geisha. But what does the word geisha actually translate to? Geisha? Sha, okay, I know sha means like people or it refers to person. And I think gay means something entertainment related thing. So. I'm pretty sure it's person of art. Yes, correct. Okay, number nine. Japan is an up and coming hiking haven. But which of these timeless walking trails is over 1000 years old? Kumano Kodo, Nakasen Dowei, uh, Shimanami Kaido, and Shine. Shine Trail. Kumano Kodo, Nakasen Doorway. I have no idea which one is the oldest, but I think Kumano Kodo. Yes, correct. <laughs> Alright, number 10. What is the top operational speed of the Shinkansen, aka the bullet train? So, the operational speed, which means that the speed that they, when they actually operate a Shinkansen, right? I think it's around 320 kilometers per hour, which is as fast as the Formula One car. Yes. Okay, number 11. Japan is renowned for its incredible food. Which city is nicknamed the Kitchen of Japan? This is so easy. I learned in the history book back in the middle school, it's Osaka. Osaka has such a lot of traditional street food of Japan. If you guys ever come to Japan, you guys should visit Osaka. Especially around Tennoji area, there are a lot of street foods like a takoyaki, like a bowl thing. Bowl and octopus, basically it's octopus bowl. <laughs> we have okonomiyaki, which is kind of like the pancake, the Japanese style pancake with a uh, oyster, oyster sauce, oyster sauce. So I'm just gonna put a subtitle in here. So number twelve, which queen, quint essentially, quint essentially. So number twelve, which quint essentially Japanese dish actually originates from Portugal? Yeah, I think around 1600 we got quite a bit of influence from Portugal. Some of Japanese words are even influenced by Portuguese, I believe. I think it's tempura. Yes, I think I read in the history book. Exactly. For those of you who wonder what tempura is, it's basically a fried, the deep fried dishes. Like you can just deep fry whatever, whatever, whatever you want. Like onions, sausages, mochi, beef pork, everything. Number 13, which scared animal is known for wandering through Nara Park? It's so easy, it's gotta be deer. I went there a couple of times, they're so cute. You guys gotta visit Nara and just take a bow to deer and take a lot of pictures, give them some senbeis, send them some loves. <laughs> Number 14, Hokkaido's red crowned cranes are iconic. In which part of the island can they be seen all year around? I would just pick Shiretoko. I think Shiretoko is very famous for its nature, but also because iconic cranes are always there, probably. Oh, wrong! Kushiro Marshland. I don't know where that is. Number 15. In which prefecture can you find the hot spring bathing Japanese Makaku, aka Snow Monkey? Ishikawa, Kagoshima, Okinawa, Nagano. I think it has to be either Nagano or Ishikawa because those prefectures are located in the area where it snows quite a bit. I think it's Nagano or Ishikawa or 
I would just go for Nagano. Correct. All right, next one. Number 16. In which region would you find the city of Sendai? Honshu, Chugoku, Toho, Shikoku. It's definitely Honshu. Oh, wait. <laughs> Baka. Oh, wait. They said Tohoku. Okay, I thought it was Hokkaido. Yeah, okay, okay. I made a mistake. Just read it wrong. Alright, number 17. Can you identify this famous Japanese castle? Yes. It's Osaka Castle in Osaka. I've been there a couple times. It's really beautiful. The castle was built by uh, Hideyoshi Toyotomi. Okay, number 18. Can you identify this Japanese city garden? No, I can't, but I will try my best. Odori Park Sapporo, Ueno Park Tokyo, Mino Park Mino, Sankei, Sankeien Garden, Yokohama. I think my friend in Hokkaido told me there is a famous park and then when he sent me a picture of it, I think it was something like that, so I think it's Odori Park Sapporo. Yes, correct. In which Japanese town would you find this Buddha statue? I think it's in Fukuoka. Actually, no. It's in Kamakura, isn't it? Yes, it's in Kamakura. When did the beloved Studio Ghibli Museum in Mitaka open? Uh, I think Ghibli was produced around late 90s to early 2000s, I guess. I think it's 2001 that the museum was opened. Yes, I'm correct. Um, number 21, can you identify this bamboo forest? Of course, it is Arashiyama. I went there, it's tremendous. You should just go and see how beautiful and then mystical it is and then you can take an Instagram worthy photo there. Number 22, finally. Oh, this is the last question. Can you identify this Japanese city from its picture? Mm, it kind of looks like city, like a big city. Kanazawa. Hakodate Nagoya. Mm, so it's definitely not in Tokyo then. Maybe Hakodate. Kind of looks like huge park and not not too tall buildings. It may be in Hokkaido. No, it was in Nagoya. <laughs> All right, anyways. All right, that's the end of the question. Let's see how many correct answers I've got. So I got 17 out of 22 correct. And I, I think I think it was decent, but I'm more interested to know if you guys did better than me or like how much do you guys know about Japan and also if you guys have any recommendations or suggestions of what kind of video you guys want to see next, please leave a comment down below so I'll get back to you. And anyways, thank you for watching video and I hope to see you soon.